the Department of Defense has satellites and the satellite technology is very important. I know that you've seen some headlines lately and you may have some questions about some satellite data that is in threatened for being turned off. And hopefully it's not going to happen. Hopefully we'll still have access to that data. Do you want to explain a little bit further about how we use that? I will say it's like uh, we need all the tools in the toolbox to make an accurate forecast. Go back to um, 1960, because that's when we launched our first satellite, Tyros-1. I think it lasted like for 78 days. That was it. But it was the first time we were actually looking down on the Earth and seeing these storms form. So you can only imagine uh, not having this data that we so desperately need to make an uh, accurate forecast by looking at these storms that are now out in the middle of the ocean. Um, all you have to do is go back to Galveston, 1900. That's probably our worst natural disaster ever in our country's history. Maybe as many as 12,000 people perished. We just don't know. But they didn't have satellites back then. They didn't have the data that we have now. So we can't take two or three steps back by cutting off all information that we use. So let's hope that, that uh, obviously, folks kind of get together, talk about it. Obviously, your, your viewers, your listeners have a, a say in this as well. If they feel compelled to contact their, uh, their congressmen, their senators, and say, hey, we need this data. Let's keep rolling along like we've been rolling along for years. Again, we need this data. We, we've come so far, and the forecasts have gotten so much better uh, that we can't take a step backwards.